water is everywhere, everywhere, everywhere. Water's in you and me, and you and me, and you and me. Water is Hi, and thanks for joining me for another episode of Water Education TV. You might be wondering what on earth we're doing in the kitchen. Well, today we're going to be talking about wetlands. And while they might seem a little bit mysterious and hard to understand, a lot of what wetlands do can be demonstrated with common kitchen items. So today we're going to do a fun activity from the Celebrate Wetlands Kids Activity Booklet. You can find that on store.projectwet.org. And it talks about how wetlands act like a sponge. They soak up all the water in the area so that it stays in the ecosystem rather than flowing on to the next area. So for our activity today, all we're going to need is a common kitchen sponge and a cup of water. Let's get started. So if you have a cup of water that represents water flowing through an ecosystem, without a wetland, it just flows directly from point A to point B. It goes right into the next outlet of, wa of the water. But if we have a wetland, we can take that same amount of water and we can use a sponge, just a common kitchen sponge, to represent the wetland because wetlands have a tightly knit mesh of roots and leaves and stems and all of those things work together to make this wetland that really works just like a sponge. So if you put that right near your outlet for water and you again pour the same amount down into the sink. So let's see what happened. If we pick up that wetland sponge and we squeeze it right back into the cup, we can see that the wetland was able to keep a lot of the water still in that ecosystem without letting it flow into the outlet. So that shows kind of how wetlands function.